Hi everyone, this is Todd Hirsch with How HubSpot Works. Today we're going to talk about the email tool. Now if you're familiar with the landing page tool, then the email tool should be a piece of cake. Obviously there's some, di some differences and we will go through those today. But from a HubSpot perspective, what you're really creating is just another kind of like another web page, another HTML page uh, that just happens to be delivered as an email. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, log into your HubSpot and go to Content Email. Once you're there, create, cr uh, click on the blue button, create a new email, and you'll see a familiar screen if you're looking at the landing pages before. Uh, go ahead and let's give our uh, our email our example email a name. So this name is an internal name, of course. So you can name it whatever you like. Um, typically, what we do is we tend to name them uh, the something to do with our campaigns, so that they're easily uh, identified later. Uh, then go down here and select a template. There's lots of templates, just like in the landing page. Uh, you can go through those and choose the one you like. You can also modify them. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and just choose this one column above body for now. And cr then click on this button, Create Email. So the first thing you'll see is the from name and the from email address in your new email. So um, this is obviously setting up you know, who the email is going to be coming from and the email address of, of that person. Um, as a general rule, you want to have it come from some actual person with an actual name rather than like say you know sales at example.com um, so it's people respond generally better to uh, to an actual person so uh, let's go ahead and just put my name in there like that and my email address uh, you can add new people here and um, that's great if those people are already users in the in your HubSpot system so uh, you can't just randomly add people that aren't already a user. So you, in adding users, you go to settings, manage users, um, and that's uh, we'll, we'll address that in another video. So uh, so you add your name, you add your, the, the name of the person that's going to be sending the email. That that's that'll be in the from uh, field on people's email inbox, and of course their email their uh, their email address. Uh, then there's campaign. Campaign um, is um, a little bit outside the scope of this video, but basically a campaign is you want to organize all of your marketing efforts around a given campaign. Let's say you have an ebook you want people to download and you've got blog posts and a landing page and uh, emails that you're sending out. All of those go under one campaign for that name of that ebook, for example. So you want to create a campaign around that and then assign this email to that campaign so that you can, you can keep track of it better. And if you haven't created a campaign, you can just add one right here. You can create a new one right here. So that's pretty handy. The other thing that I forgot to mention is it is kind of interesting to mix and match the from and the from email address. So, for example, if you wanted to have somebody's name here, so it looks more, you know, more personal, uh, personal. But here you have an address like sales at example.com. Like I said before, that's perfectly acceptable to do that. Um, and then you kind of get the best of both worlds. Okay, so the next section is the main content. Main content sections uh, consist of the message subject and the main body text. So both of these things are obviously very important. Um, the message subject, this is the email subject line. This is what they're going to see in their email inbox. So um, obviously very important to write something catchy and enticing and clickable, something like this super sexy free weight loss plan that makes you rich or something along those lines uh, but you get you guys get the idea obviously uh, spending a lot of time on the subject line is really important for any kind of email that you send out in, in the marketing world uh, what's kind of interesting here too is that you can uh, do the, a subject line personalization so um, if for example you wanted to say first name that would be a typical one here so you just type in first name and this is going to reach into the contacts database and pull out the, f the first name of the contacts that you're sending this email to right so uh, so when you add that like for example here contact first name it'll say you know if the person's name is John it'll say John check out this sexy weight loss plan that makes you rich or something like that the next section main body text this is obviously the body of your email 
So uh, you will write whatever you want to write here. Uh, they have personalization here as well. So you could say, hi, first name. Uh, you do that with this little button right here. You can change that out and you can add whatever you want. Um, and you write your text and uh, obviously how to write a good email is a little, a little bit out of the scope of this uh, tutorial, but this is obviously where you would do it. So moving right along. So a couple more things before we wrap up. Um, this next section down here called secondary content. Um, what this is, is it's, it's just as a, it's a preview text that displays in some email clients. So for example, in uh, Outlook, uh, you might get something along the lines of this where you get the from, you get the headline, the subject line, and then you get some of these preview text. The best practice here is to put something along the lines of um, you know, some type of, of, of quick summary of the email that people can read. Uh, something that's a little bit attractive, something that might uh, entice them to read the rest of the email. So that's a, a nice little feature that HubSpot has added there. Uh, moving down, we have the logo. So this is the logo up at the top, up here. And uh, pretty straightforward, just click on it. Uh, it comes up with this little dialog box. You can change it. You can put alt, uh, the alt uh, copy in there, spacing. If you want to change it, obviously, you just change it over here. It goes to here, to your f image manager. You can add a folder, or excuse me, add a, um, an image quickly. And uh, select it and use it and it just shows up right here so uh, pretty straightforward and pretty easy uh, the default uh, dimensions for uh, an e a typical email are 600 by 100 so uh, alright so that's that you can add some uh, more uh, so this is a rich text module here so you can just add some more and that would show up down here if you'd like or you can just get rid of it and the last but not least here is the social sharing label and social sharing. So um, some of you might be asking, well, what's the deal with, um, with sharing an email? Um, what it allows you to do is basically put any URL here and then share it. So um, well, that's, that's kind of interesting because the, um, you can actually put anything you want in here. So, for example, a typical example would be a landing page that you want people to uh, go to from the email. Uh, you know, you put that here, um, and the label would be something like share this email or something like that, and it would go to that landing page. Uh, the other thing that's a little bit interesting is that um, HubSpot is also allowing you to um, create a web page version of this email. So you just click on this button. First of all, sorry, you go to options up here at the top, and you, you go to web page version, and you say create a web page version. And so this will actually create a, a, a web page out there, just another web page on, on your, in your, um, in your, uh, under your domain. So you put a page title in here, and that will create a URL. You can put a meta description, and then you can use this URL back here in content down at the bottom when you want to share that. So that's another way to do it. But basically, the sharing thing, you can share any URL. And then, of course, you just need to turn on the buttons that you want, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, Google+, Pinterest, and email sharing. And then save it. So those are the kind of the basics of the um, setting up the email tool, uh, setting up an email in the email tool. Uh, we'll get into more details about sending emails and all that other kind of good stuff in our next video. All right, hope you enjoyed this, and we'll talk to you soon. Thanks.